In our last video, we showed how to create a common superclass across multiple activities, and this common superclass will hold a common menu. Now in this video, we're going to show how to expand that menu so that we can select any of the two activities that we have at the current time, or in the future we can select more activities. So first of all, the menu that we're using is called Menu GPS a Plant. And what we see here is it has an open and closed menu structure. So what I need to do now is I'm going to say item Android colon ID equals, and then we're going to follow the similar template we have up here up above, at symbol plus ID slash, and we need to make up some kind of unique identifier. We're going to make this the GPS a plant screen, so I'll just say GPS a plant. It's fine. And then I'm going to say Android colon title. And for this, we'll say GPS a plant. Now we're going to want to refactor this and have it uh, actually call out to string.xml, but we'll leave it as it is for the moment. Finally, we'll say app colon show as action equals and we're going to say if room. What that means is it's going to show on the action bar if there is room for this item. Oop, looks like I missed something here. Looks like I missed an equal sign. There we go. It's going to show on the action bar if there's room for it. Now what does that mean? That means this bar right up top. So we want to give things a relative weight when we're designing a menu. Things that we want the user to be able to access quickly should be across the top. Things that maybe could be hidden like settings that the user won't access frequently, we want to make that a few more clicks away. Our screen real estate is very precious, so we need to show only the things the user wants to use frequently. And that's where the um, show as action if room comes in. Okay. After this, I'm going to make another one. We'll say item Android ID equals and then similar syntax again, at symbol plus ID. Uh, this time we're going to say capture color. That's our other activity. Android colon title equals color, uh, or let's say search by color. And show as action equals if room. And terminate this tag and save. Now, Notice I made them both show if, if room. The trick is this is the GPS a plant screen, and we're currently seeing show GPS a plant is a menu option in the action bar if there's room. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to show a menu option to go to the screen that we're currently on. So in a future video, we're going to see how we can use an abstract method to not show a menu option for the current screen. A neat little programming technique that we can use. Now, I've loaded this on the emulator and take a look at the difference. Do you see how GPS a plant shows up here? And then we click on the three dots and we'll see search by color and settings. Now, a couple changes we need to make. Again, screen real estate, very precious. We don't want to show GPS a plant if we're already on that screen. We want to show another option instead. We'll change that in a moment, but first, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this actually do something. Because if you note now, I click on search by color, I click on GPS a plant, and nothing happens. Here's what we need to do. Let's go back to our item. And this feature is new right around Android 3.0. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an on click. And I'm going to make that on click equal to, uh, let's see, this is GPS a plant. So we'll say GPS a plant clicked. And I'm going to copy this, Control C, and I'm going to save. Now remember, our menu is handled by this common super that we created earlier called Plant Places Activity. So now what I need to do is I need to go to this activity, this super class, make a new method, public void paste. GPS a plant click, that exact text that I just typed. Menu item, menu item. Open curly, close curly, and I'm going to put some job block here that simply indicates that this method is invoked when the user clicks the GPS a plant menu option. Okay, now because this is a common super class across all of my activities, that means that this method now takes effect 
for my GPS plant and my color capture activity and any other activity that I might have in the future. Okay, uh, we'll fill in the details in just a moment, but while I'm here on the menu screen, let me go ahead and do the same thing for search by color. So here I'm going to say Android, colon, on click, and then double quote, quote, search, color, clicked. Highlight that text inside the quotes, choose save, plant places activity, public void, paste, menu item, menu item. Open curly, close curly, similar javadoc again. Uh, I won't bother filling in the details right now in this video because I've already done it above. Now, what I am going to do is if GPS a plant is clicked, I'm going to invoke that activity using an explicit intent. In other words, unlike the implicit intents we've done before where we just say, I want to take a picture, an explicit intent says, I specifically want to invoke this activity. And typically we use an explicit intent to call activities within our app where we'll use an implicit intent to invoke activities outside of our app. So I will say intent, uh, intent, lowercase intent, or we could say GPS a plant intent equals new intent. Open curly and say this because we need a reference to a context which talks about what our application is. And then I'm going to say uh, the name of my class. You see up here, GPS a plant. Uh, but I need to end it with dot class instead of dot Java because we're talking about the compiled type, not the source code. Okay, put my cursor over the red line I'm getting here, alt enter to solve and say import class and that will resolve our imports. And then we'll simply say start activity, which means uh, GPS a plant intent. Uh, that simply means start this activity and I'm not expecting to hear a result from it. So I save. Now search by color. We'll try this one uh, very similar again. Intent search by color intent equals new intent. This comma, name of the actual activity is color capture activity. So color capture activity dot class. And honestly, side note, I probably should have been consistent here. I should have either called this GPS a plant activity or I should have just called this color capture. I, I, I'm not consistent with how I'm naming my activities. That's okay. We can refactor it later. Finally, start activity. Oops. Start activity. And we're going to pass in the search by color intent. Go ahead and let that autocomplete and save. Now I've loaded my changes into the emulator and take a look at what happens when I click search by color. You'll see in just a moment it refreshes to the search by color screen. If I click GPS a plant, it's going to take us to the GPS a plan screen. It's actually creating a brand new instance of the screen, so it's not very efficient because you see I can click back and I'm going to go back through a series of opening screens. So uh, you know, that's not an efficient way to do things, but nonetheless, it does prove that our menu is working as we plan. Now, the question is, how do we remove this GPS a plant menu option when we're on GPS a plant? And how do we remove the search by color option when we're on search by color? That requires something called an abstract class with an abstract method. I'm going to make a separate video on that. So just look on my channel for a video called uh, removing a menu item with abstract class and abstract method or something similar to that. I'll put it in the same uh, Android Studio playlist that this video is on. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.